Hi, this is Hunter and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to show you a filleting and blending workflow involving the split line, delete face, and filled surface commands. And along the way I'm going to show you some of the new enhancements and features in SOLIDWORKS 2015 that make this particular workflow easier than ever. So the part I'm concerned with is the back of the neck of this Fender guitar. And if I want to get a better idea or understanding of how the light reacts to this awkward looking corner, I can use Photo View 360 to do that. And new in 2015 we have the render region option. So when I launch my preview or even a render, as long as I've had this region selected, that becomes the only area that actually gets resolved in my rendering. So I get a result quicker than ever. And we can now we can see that this light line actually seems to bend or converge into the corner rather than flowing right through it. So this is going to be an undesirable result for me and we want to fix that. So let's open up this part in its own window and we notice the new open part in position option has been added to the in context menus in SOLIDWORKS 2015 for both assemblies and drawings. Now as I said we're going to do a split line and then a delete face and then a filled surface. So the split line is going to be establishing the boundary for this patch that I want to create and it relies on a two dimensional sketch in order to cut these faces. So the first thing I need is a plane to sketch on and in the past I'd have to be fumbling with reference geometry and figuring out exactly how to create that particular plane in the view that I want. But in SOLIDWORKS 2015 I can just pick a point as my depth reference and then I can create a plane that is parallel to my viewport. So with very minimal effort I've established exactly the plane that I want and I'm able to maintain my zoom and pan perspectives while I sketch. So I'll grab those two edges that I want to extend and convert them into sketch geometry and let's use the spline tool to do the rest. And when I terminate my spline on that existing sketch entity, we notice that in 2015 SOLIDWORKS I'm prompted with any relations I might want to add between those two entities. And it leaves me in the spline tool, so now creating multiple entities that bridge up to existing sketch entities is a lot easier than ever in SOLIDWORKS 2015. So now we'll get out of that sketch and we'll launch the split line command and we're going to project that sketch onto these two faces and we see that it splits them up so now I have three faces to select and I can use the delete face command in order to knock out that region. I'll just leave it at delete for now and we'll notice I'm left with a surface body that has a little hole in it right here. So I'll use the surfaces commands and filled surface in order to close this gap and I just need to select all the edges going around this loop. So a quick way to do that is right click on one of the edges and say select open loop. And you might be noticing now if you've used a filled service command in the past that the preview looks a little different. Well in 2015 we now have independent display over the curvature so I can do my standard mesh preview like we're used to or I can independently select maybe the zebra stripes or curvature combs display on that particular surface so I can get a better idea of exactly what the geometry is doing. So let's leave that on zebra stripes and I want to apply the tangent condition to all edges. Now as long as I'm in the filled surface command I have independent control over the contact condition on each edge but if I want every edge to be tangent or if I want every edge to be just contact then I don't even need to use the filled surface command. So let's back out of here and back when I use the delete face we notice that there's a delete and fill option and it does just that it deletes the face and then it fills it in with a filled surface and if I check the filled sur the tangent fill box that makes all the edges tangent so there's that nice patch that I was looking for if I want to see how I did let's use that brand new render region once again to see uh, the results as light hits that newly created surface so I hope you learned something about filleting and blending and also I hope you'll appreciate some of the new enhancements available to us in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Thank you for watching.